Hey guys, this is Ryan the Geeky V. Today we're going to do a little video about Power Query. It's an amazing tool that's available in Excel and in Power BI, and it's a great tool to connect to your data um, and even automate your reports. So I'm going to give you a little bit of a, uh, some tidbits here. Um, I'll have a small, short series of videos that hopefully aren't any more than five minutes in length, and you can learn a little bit about Power Query and, and well, how powerful it is. So in this video, we're going to cover two basic things, the ability to append files in Power Query and also the ability to merge files in Power Query. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, if you look over here to the left, I've got a folder here that has um, several different types of files. Uh, three of them are loans. You can see I have from February to April loan files. I also have a deposit file. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to upload the February loan file um, and then March and then April. And I'm going to show you how to combine those. You're going to pin one of those files to the next. Okay, so let's go over here to the right. We're going to open up Power Query. And we're going to start, we're going to go from file, from Excel. And then we're going to just navigate to that file. And the first one we'll open up is February Loans. So in this navigator you have, uh, when you're connecting to um, an external source, such as, a, as a, another Excel sheet, um, it'll give you all the different sheets that have any kind of information in it. So we're gonna click on this one here. If we click on it, you can see over here to the right, this is the information um, that is provided. I've got dates, a member number or a customer number, and their loan balance. So this actually looks pretty good. Uh, I'm going to go ahead, normally you could open it and edit it, but I'm going to go ahead and load it. Puts it straight into my file right there. Okay, let's drop down here. We can see that it is in sheet number two. Great. We're going to do the exact same thing again. This time, we're going to load the March information. March. OK. And again, click on Sheet 2. We like what we see. Great. We're going to go ahead and load it. OK, great. Come down here, and you can see March now is Sheet 3. Sheet 2 is February. Sheet 3 is March. OK. Go back in, we will grab April. We'll do the same thing. Okay, this time I'm going to go ahead and hit edit. Click edit. And this brings us to the uh, Power Query edit um, capabilities. Nothing here I'm going to show you yet, but a lot of these things I will go over in my uh, future videos here. We're going to go ahead and click Close and Load. And there you have it. So now I have the three tables. So I've got April, March, and February. Great. So now what I want to do, in fact, it's under pay Table Tools here. You can do that, or you can also come over to Power Query. We're going to do it through the Power Query tab. We're going to do an append. And as you can see, you could do just two tables, or you could do three or more tables. We're going to connect three tables. Sheet 1, Sheet 2, Sheet 3. And as you can see, I've got Sheet 1 on there multiple times. So I'm going to go in there, I'm going to X that out. Let's hit OK. And now we're back into the Power Query Editor. And here you can see we have February, then March, and then April. All looks good. I'm going to close and load. There we go. One table. One nice table. OK. So that's it for the append side. What would it look like if we were to merge? So I'm going to go ahead 
and this time pull in the deposit information for February. So I'm going to merge the February deposits to the lo February loans. Let's go ahead and grab the deposit information. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to create a table that has the date of February, the member number, deposit balances, but we also want the loan balances connected. Pretty easy to do, actually. This time we're going to come up, instead of hitting append, we'll hit merge. So it's starting with sheet 1-4, um, which is titled, or which is actually for deposits. We're going to merge that with, oh, and you know what? We, we're not really sure which one it is. I'm pretty sure it's this one, but I'm going to uh, step back here a second and go into the very first table that we loaded. Okay, it was February. Let's edit this. And as you can see, yes, it's a February loan information. What we should always do is name your query. Okay, so I'm going to name it February loans. Close and load. Notice how that changed that query over here. That's fantastic. We're going to go back to the deposit sheet. February deposits. We're going to hit merge one more time. Okay, and then this time we'll be able to select February loans. And it's going to be joined based on the member. So if you highlight those two columns, it knows to connect based on those. We'll click OK. Now, it doesn't quite, it's not quite finished yet. It has the deposit balances, but not the loans. Okay, so we've got a new column with the table it's connecting to. So you have to click this icon here. Deselect this, deselect this. The only thing we want to pull in is the loan balances. Hit OK. Good. Close and load. And there we have it. There's a merge. February has the member information, both the deposit balances and the loan balances. Okay, that's all we wanted to show you today. I think we've accomplished that. We showed you the merge. We showed you the append. Hopefully you like that, and we'll see you at the next video.